How to remove colour from images in Canva. Hi, Kerry here from Dream K to B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today what I'm doing is I'm actually showing you how to remove colour from images in Canva. Now you can do this with PNG, JPEGs and some SVGs. Not all SVGs are the same but some of them actually work out quite well and they look really good. So I know a lot of you actually use Canva to create your books, all your journals, your planners, your low content, no content, all your different types. So I am going to be doing a series teaching you how to use Canva and I'm going to be doing it with the free account. Now, the free account has limitations, not just with what fonts and what images you can use, but also with um, what things you can actually do like you can't remove backgrounds and you can't simply resize things but you can work around it also you need to check the license with different things that you're using canva has its own license called one license you need to check that out you need to read through it and if you don't understand anything you need to can contact Canva themselves to explain their licensing rules but there's nothing to stop you actually going in and taking your own images and your own fonts from different places and using them there so here we are in Canva in the free account I'm going to actually create a custom size most coloring books are in eight and a half by 11 inches a lot of them also have bleed so to add bleed you add 0.125 to the top 0.125 to the bottom and 0.125 to the side i have also created a video on bleed and that will be in the top right hand corner so 8.625 and 11.25 is the size that I want to be created. Now I have had it on uh, dessert coloring books. Just a quick look through. I haven't done a good niche research. I'm not suggesting this as a niche to go into because there's over 4,000 results, but I just want to show you some examples of different doing different things. Now in Canva itself, you can actually go in and use Pixabay or Pexels. The only trouble with that is it gives you a limited way of actually searching. So if say I wanted ice cream, you'd have to go through every single one to have a look to see what you want. Now, when you are looking for images, you're actually looking for a black outline when you are doing images for coloring in to change. If you were just doing it for a journal, you might take that on and then just tone it down and make it a grayscale image but you want with black lines going around so people can actually color it in so there's one here that i could just take that's what really done for me but if i take an image like say this one and i want to change it there's no black outline out there for me to actually change it and I'll show you what happens. So what I've done is I've actually gone to Pixabay and I've actually selected this image here. I've downloaded it on the biggest setting because I want to make sure it stays at 300 DPI. Same with this when I just drag an image in from Pixabay here. I'm not sure of the uh, DPI because I'm not sure if it's just bringing it in ready for screen or whether it's ready for um, print so if I was you I'd actually go in if I was using Pixabay and go in and do my search and get the biggest size possible so here we are here I'm going to add that image so I've already added that particular image it's 300 dpi so I'm going to put it in I'm going to resize it a little bit I don't want to resize it too much because I don't want it to blur going to just take that size up so you can actually see what I'm doing so what I want to do now this image is great because it has got a black outline on nearly every single thing there so this might work very well so I'm going to go into effects as you see I cannot remove the background because that is a pro feature but if I go see all and I go down here and click classic it's actually took most of the color away, but I can still improve on that. If I take my contrast all the way up and then I start messing about with brightness, actually, 
starts bringing back that color. So I'm just going to bring down a bit more. So we know we've got that there, but that doesn't matter. So I have removed the color. It's okay for coloring in. Now, you can also do that with some SVGs, not all SVGs. So if I go into Creative Fabrica, I found this one here. Now this has got SVGs and it's got JPEGs and it's got PNGs. Now, if I do it on that with the SVG and just click here, I can resize this, which is absolutely great and it doesn't pixelate. But the problem is I cannot change anything here. I cannot remove the colors or anything like that. So what I need to do is actually add the either PNG or the JPEG. In this particular pack, the PNG was only 150 DPI, whereas the JPEG was 300. So I'm going to stick with the JPEG. And again, if you bring it up, you are in danger of pixelization. But that should be fine for that for now. So I'm going to go to seal. And I'm going to go to mono. Now the problem here is this heart has not got any black and white there. So I'm just going to see if I can get rid of mostly the background here. And then I'm going to go to adjust. And again, I'm going to ramp up. Just and I've got rid of mostly all the color there. And then what I can do is I can go into elements and I can look for a free part. So you just type here, and as you can see, this one is free because it says free. I click on there, it is in white. All I need to do is click on the color there and go to default color and just bring it down a bit turn it and i can put the heart back in just try and fit it in there so that is that one done there now what we want to do is actually go and get an svg that actually does work so i went to create a fabrica and as i'm dream creative b i decided to look for different Bs, I think what three Bs, three B there, and I actually found some cute ones that I wanted to use that were SVGs. So I've actually uploaded that already. So if I go to uploads, here's this, and this is an SVG. Again, as you can see, I can move it, and it's not pixelated. But we've now got these buttons that have come up. So when you get an SVG that does this, look how nice and simple it is. You just click on the color you want to remove, click on white, click on that again, and click on white. And here we are, we have removed color. So we've removed color from a PNG, color from a JPEG, and now color from an SVG. But if I show you an SVG that doesn't work, it's just that one there. There's nothing I can do about it. I could download it as a PNG, but the problem is on the free account, you cannot up the size so that it is a high DPI. It's only going to print it out as 173 DPI, which you don't want to be messing with and using in your coloring books. So I hope this has helped. I am going to be creating a different series using Canva, showing you how to create notebooks, planners, and different things like that. If it has helped, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the little B above my head to subscribe to my channel to be notified about different videos that I make. And if there's any videos that you want me to make, just put them down in the comments. I'll have a look at them and see if I can actually make them for you. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to check out my video about removing color using PowerPoint. Also, don't forget to check out my video about whether to use bleed or not to bleed.